Two common questions in putting are what is important in the weighting of a putter and what is a face balance putter? We're going to give you those answers today. A Seymour putter, one of the key benefits is the rifle scope technology, but besides that I'm going to show you something about the weighting of these putters that make them very effective. People often ask, what is face balanced? Now I'm turning it now, but they say that a putter pointed straight towards the sky is a face balanced putter. Well, I don't believe that's important because that if a putter was pointed straight towards the sky there, that means that it would only make it square when it's at 90 degrees, like this. And I don't play golf at 90 degrees. The only thing you would do at 90 degrees, maybe chopping wood if I'm using an axe, but I don't use a my putter for that. I also don't play croquet. I play golf. And what's most important is at golf, I play at 70 degrees. That's what standard, the standard line of Seymour putters is, is 70 degrees. So because of that, I need a putter that's always going to stay dead square there at 70 degrees. This putter, even though up here has toe hang, most importantly at 70 degrees, is there absolutely square. And as a result of that, I want to show you what no manipulation looks like. See, I'm just putting T's in this and it's hanging there naturally. So if I take this inside, the toe weighting still allows it to come out the square. I can take it outside, but the toe weighting allows it to come back to square. It's incredible. A, rush, uh, excuse me, a, a physicist from the UK came to our owner at the PGA show, he's from Nottingham University, told him, you actually have some of the most face balanced putters in the game because many putters in your line are face balanced at impact. And that shocked us because they were not face balanced up here, but he, he made a great point. So the first one I showed you had a lot of toe hang. This one just has medium toe hang. This is the FGP mount. But look, at 70 degrees, still perfectly square at 70 degrees. Now, here's a putter from one of our competitors. Many people have said, this is face balance at the sky, but let's look at what's most important, being face balance and impact. Let's put this at 70 degrees, it's dead open. So look at that, that putter there at 70 degrees is open, so as a result, we're here, if you look at the path of this putter, you know, it sits there open. So for you to have that square at impact, you're actually having to turn your wrist to the left. So if you take that back, naturally that putter's gonna be open. So if you take it inside or outside, you're somehow gonna have to manipulate that coming back more to be square at impact. Now people have made putts with this, but we believe it's gonna be most effective long term for you to have a putter then that naturally wants to be square rather than you having to do any extra work. We were just eliminating factors for you. Now this one CS model, one of our newest releases, this is really cool because, wow, okay, this is actually face balance towards the sky and face balance at impact. So if you're one of those believers, then doesn't, you never want to get away from that. You just, it's just a confidence booster for you to have that pointed at the sky. This is the perfect, because you have face balanced everywhere. This is a great solution. And has this been validated? Yes. Payne Stewart at Pinehurst won the 1999 US Open, became one of the best putters on tour after going to a Seymour putter. The 2007 Masters was won by Zach Johnson. He won a tour event four straight years using this putter and continues to use it successfully on the PGA Tour. DA points. He's the winner of the 2011 AT&T at Pebble Beach. He won with Bill Murray teamed up. It was a great fun win. There's him with that FTP putter. And, and here's Stephen Tyler in the European Tour, the MFGP CS putter. That's him in the 2010 US Open. What do all these putters have in common? Their face balance is 70 degrees. I recommend you get one. Go visit www.seymour.com.